Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I have got Ashley Ham right here with me, the president of the San Angelo Association hey, of Realtors. Hey, how's it going? It's good, how are you? I'm happy to be back. Yes, happy to have you back because we have got lots and lots to talk about. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, uh, one of the biggest topics going on right now, property taxes for Tom Green County residents. Yes, if we're not talking about the weather, we're talking about property taxes. Exactly, yeah, so that's why you're here. It's just kind of, you know, to walk us through what's going on. Yes. So as Realtors and as the San Angelo Association of Realtor Association, mm -hmm. we are advocates for private property rights and just being the voice of real estate in yeah. our community. So I came here today to kind of teach people how to file that protest for those taxes that we know we have so many questions about. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's just kind of start at the beginning, okay. walk us through it. Okay, so I mean, really, it's pretty easy. Yeah. You can go online. Okay. You look up your value or your property, and then you'll see your values and how they're valuing this year. The very top, there's a little button that says protest. File your oh, protest okay. here. It takes you five minutes to file it. And what you're going to do, it's going to ask you some questions while, why, why you're filing. Mm -hmm. And we'll kind of go through some stuff you'll have to have prep before you go. Yeah. But go in there. It takes five minutes. Do it today because the deadline is tomorrow. So that's another reason why I'm here. We want to yes. kind of build that urgency yeah. and make sure people are getting that protest in because it's okay to put that protest. And even if you're not 100% certain, go ahead and do it. Let's get some answers. Let's get you guys in there at least to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation to figure out why your value is what it is. Right, right. Okay. So you said, uh, you know, kind of go in prepared. When you go yeah. online, you hit that protest button. What all do you need? So it'll ask, it'll go through some questions that okay. you'll, you'll know the answers to there. But when you go in there, again, don't be afraid. That's the mm -hmm. biggest thing. We're having a lot of intimidation factors. Please don't be afraid to go in there and file that. Um, you can take pictures of your home. Because okay. let's face it, the people aren't going inside your home. They're not on your property when they're, you know, doing, assessing the value. Yeah. So take some pictures. Take some updates that you've done or haven't done. Mm. And have that information. You know, if you do have an arm's length transaction that you bought a home, you know, recently, and the appraisal is a different value than what you're having to assess yeah. that. And take that with you. Okay. There's a lot of things you can take to show that value. Okay, so showing the true value. Mm -hmm. how, and then have that conversation, yes. Yeah. So okay. you're, whoever you're speaking to, whether it's the board or an independent appraiser, mm -hmm. they're going to look at that and they're going to look at it with you so that way you can actually have that conversation. Okay, okay. So kind of being prepared, getting those yes. pictures, getting yes. kind of your, your evidence, I mm -hmm. guess, built yeah, up. basically. Okay, all right. What's next? Well, so um, another thing is if you have an appraisal that you can actually hire an appraiser to go out. Now, again, appraisals for values on property when you're purchasing one um realtors and of course we'll talk about this those numbers might be a little different okay. than your actual tax value okay so just understand that if you do hire an appraisal or hire an appraiser to do an appraisal i should say that might be a little different number than what your tax assessment's coming out at okay here. so just understand there's a lot of different moving pieces that could be coming up with numbers for your home mm -hmm. but again if you have that appraisal already in, in hand Take it down there if it's a little bit lower than what it's showing for your tax purposes. Okay, good deal. Yeah, so basically kind of uh, like we talked about gathering your evidence and really advocating for yourself and your yes. Okay. Yes, because as realtors, unfortunately, we are not allowed to provide data okay. for tax purposes. We can run numbers as far as comparables for when we're going to list your home, yeah. but we cannot provide that to anybody for a tax purpose, okay. unfortunately. So that is that is one place where our hands are tied as the Realtor Association, but mm -hmm. that's just why it's okay to have some more um, ammo in your in your pocket if you need it <laughs> exactly. with the other stuff. So. Exactly. So are there particular uh, other other places that people can reach out to for help? For uh, I mean, you can reach out to your realtor just okay. to get started. Okay. Um, you know, if you guys have questions about how to even get the process going, we did create um, an infographic and we put it on our website. Mm -hmm. um, we'll post that in the comments. And that way you can actually go in there and it shows you a how to. It's almost like a little okay. video circle okay. to make here to start, you know, kind of where to look and all of that. Yeah. But the biggest thing is just please do not be afraid to go in and have that conversation because that's what a lot of things I'm hearing are they're intimidated to go yeah. and have that conversation or that you may be put in front of the board. That's okay. Those are volunteers. Those are people just like you and I to have that conversation and just to get those answers that I know everybody has right now as to where these numbers came from. Yeah, exactly. And and that's a good a good point too. You know, what what else have you been hearing? 
um, as far as feedback from people, the intimidation factor, of course, and yeah. then what else? Well, it's just the inconsistency of the numbers mm -hmm. is what we're seeing now. Again, these are questions that you're going to have to have ooh, answered by the people when you're there, but at least getting the information why your values that way. Okay. You know, some areas might look a little different and they have gone back in some areas and reassessed since the initial numbers. Came okay. Out. So, and again, that's not just a blanket statement there. There's just been some things, but if you have, and that's also one thing to remember too, if you've received a later notice, then mm -hmm. you have an additional 30 days from the time you receive that notice. So your okay. cutoff not, may not necessarily be tomorrow, but a lot of people's are. So that's why I'm really here today just to push to get that okay. information out to okay. get that protest in if yours is coming up. Definitely. And um, so again, they can do this all online. Yes. Okay. And then once they um, send in that information, mm -hmm. they'll be contacted to notify them when their appointment is. And it gives you an option. You can do it on the phone. You can do it in person. There's some different options for wherever your comfort okay. levels lie. Okay, good deal. Perfect. So what else do we need to know? Oh, just get, please get out there and just be a voice. Be a voice for yourself. Be a voice for the community. We, you know, we're out here obviously advocating for that voice, but it's going to be the community that has to step up and, you know, be that greasy wheel that gets the <laughs> attention because that's just how it's going to, that's how we're going to get things changed. Yeah. And again, so this is, um, you know, more, they, these are individuals protesting their, yes. for their own Correct. homes, for yes. their own properties. Yes. They don't necessarily go through realtors. Or Correct. Correct. Okay. But we can guide them as to how, where right. the website is, where to go, um, okay. to actually go in there and file and kind of just the steps to get the process mm. started. But unfortunately, yeah, we can't provide any data. It's just, yeah. unfortunately, we just can't. Yeah. But we're there to be your voice and to, you know, to cheer you on and make sure you're getting that place heard. Wonderful. So are there any other, you know, questions that people have been asking you that you want to address or? Well, really, answer? it's just the how and okay. where these things came from. But again, that's something that the tax appraisal district's going to have to provide because they will have to show you where these numbers came from. So ask those questions. Okay. Make sure you're asking because they have to provide it to you. So that way, you know, and then you, you can ask them, you know, if that one is actually comparable to the property, if you don't feel it is, and you might have another property that you may want to have them check out go for it okay so they can actually ask questions yes oh yes for the okay oh, yes Wonderful. yep have that conversation just again please don't be afraid to have that conversation that's the biggest thing <laughs> yeah i don't know if i've already said that enough but i'm gonna say it again yes yes because i mean it's their their home their property yes that they're advocating for yes exactly okay. that's exactly right Wonderful. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Thank you for having me. Yes. Giving us all this great info. Do you have any final thoughts or messages? Yeah, just like I said, holler if y'all have any questions as to how to get started, but please get that in today so that way you don't miss that deadline if your deadline's coming up. Yes, June 1st. Yes. Deadline. And okay. then if for some reason yours came in later, it will have the date on your assessment so that way you know. But go ahead and get it in as quickly as you possibly can just so you don't miss it. Wonderful. And like she said, it's all online. Yes. Do in a couple minutes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five <laughs> minutes. And there you lots of you're quicker than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks again, Ashley. Thank for you so us much. Answering us, uh, answer so many questions for us. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. Of course. We'll see y'all next time.